What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cats and Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Sorry, my kitty was... He likes to dig in his cat food, but he's got cat food, so I don't know what's up with that. So, I don't know. Okay, so um, this is Daily Tea for 731 in 2022. Don't forget the basics. Time, well, we went over the basics. It's the Daily Tea. So, it's a little different than my other readings. It's more general current pulling of the energy. Um, it's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time you view it. However, everyone's on different time of life paths. So, for some of you guys, it can resonate outside the 72-hour time frame. Um, possibly. And I think this one is going to resonate outside the 72-hour time frame. I'm just saying, according to the channel message. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own life situation or situations, however they resonate and apply. Please don't force anything that doesn't fit. Let me go adjust this for him real quick. I'll be right back. I apologize. Okay, and if anybody knows of any tiny house rentals, uh, especially in the Tennessee area, I will consider uh, Southern Kentucky as well, um, or any uh, tiny houses uh, for sale that's already re already done, um, please um, send them over my way. I'd very much appreciate it, just saying, just saying. Um, my plan is to get a tiny house and move up near my children. That's my plan. So, just saying. Okay. So, um, the channel message I received was um, uh, a therapist um, that knew about a, abuse and exploitation of a family in the past, but they uh, chose, free willingly chose to keep it quiet. Um, their career is about to tank down in a huge negative way. Many, 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 many. I heard it was like seven or eight or nine minis. Many people know that this therapist did this and um, they are about to refuse their service and move away from this person. They're about to experience huge money loss. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's pretty strong. Um, but, you know, therapists are mandatory reporters, as are nurses and um, officers of the law and any mandatory professional public person, they are mandatory reporters. They just are. And that's just the truth. So it's a therapist in this situation. Uh, so like a therapist and counselor, I feel it can be masculine or feminine therapist, masculine or feminine counselor. I didn't hear a sign on this person. But basically, a ton of people know that this person basically covered up abuse and exploitation of a family in the past. A bunch of people know. And it sounds like they know in their community, wherever they uh, have their practice or they are employed in or what have you, what have you. I feel they could have their own business as a business owner or they could be employed by a company. However, that resonates and applies. But however that resonates and applies, a bunch of people, basically a crap ton of people know that they intentionally covered up an abuse and exploitation of a family in the past. And they're basically about to move away from this person. So I think they are about to request, they're about to move themselves or their child or children away from this therapist because they know how this therapist handled the situation of the past, i.e. they did not mandatory report abuse and exploitation as they're supposed to in a professional credentialed uh, position. Because as a counselor, that is your duty and your responsibility is to mandatory report. And that's just the truth. So they did not, or they intentionally covered it up. So they did not fulfill their mandatory reporting duty, basically. I wouldn't want my kids around that. And I wouldn't want to be around that. And that's just the truth. As anyone should not have to be around someone like that. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. So I don't 
I feel I'm picking up this message because I feel you guys know this person. I think you know this therapist. And I think you're about to pull your kid or kids away from their services or service. Um, or you're about to pull yourself away from their service or services. Or tell somebody about this person and have them pull away from their service or services. That's exactly what I think as far as picking up this message. Um, but you plug it into your own particular life and situation, how it resonates, okay? It is about to start happening quick, 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 quick. People do not want to be affiliated with this person because of the past. It is about to start happening quick, quick, quick. People do not want to be affiliated with this person because of the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So it's about to start happening really quick because people do not want to be affiliated with this person because of the past. Hostility is reversed. Community. Number 26 or 7 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 26 or 7, it could be a possible age of a child that goes to this therapist or a child of yours or uh, an age of you or somebody you're connected to, 26 or 7. Hostilities reverse. Many of these people are about to pull away from this therapist. They're not going to do it. They're not going to tell this therapist. They're just going to pull away. And they're going to tell a lot of people about it. A lot of people. This therapist's career is about to tank in a huge way. Okay. I heard. Okay, so if this res, I feel you are the one about to have your uh, pull your child or children out of their services or pull you out of their services. Um, because, and I think it's because you know how this therapist treated a family in the past. You know how they did. So you don't want to be treated the same way. And I don't blame you. Who wants to be treated that way? Nobody. So I think you're about to do it in a non-hostile, 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 non-aggressive way. And you are about to, uh, just decline services and find another counselor or therapist. I heard therapist, but I think, it, you know, counselor, therapist, just saying, just saying. Um, and that way, there's no conflict there. There's no hostility. There's no aggression. But I heard you're going to tell many other people about it, if this resonates for you. You're going to tell many other people about it, um, but you don't want to create conflict with the therapist, basically, that you know that they know about their cover-up of abuse and exploitation of a family in the past. So you're just going to pull yourself out of the situation and warn others about it. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So you don't want conflict with the therapist. You want to move away from the therapist. Community. One of you knows many people that goes to this person. And you're about to uh, tell the information. One of you knows many people that goes to this person and you're about to tell the information. So you're about to tell the information to your community, community members that go to this person. Um, and that way they can be notified that this therapist basically is, they claim to be a mandatory reporter, but they're really not. They're really not. And um, you don't want to be treated the same way that this therapist or counselor or what have you, what have you, treated a family in the past. I mean, true abuse and exploitation, you don't want, if some abuse and exploitation happens to you or your people you care about and your community that goes to this therapist, you don't want this therapist covering up the abuse and exploitation. I mean, who does? Nobody. I don't blame you. That's terrible. That's terrible. So I don't blame you. Let me see if I hear anything else.
All right, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard it was going to happen soon and quickly. Let me pull a couple pair on it. Soon and quickly. Spirit message is here. I was like this. Three of Pentacles, teamwork, telling your family members, telling the people you know, etc., etc., etc. Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, worry, fear of this therapist. So you're about to collaborate with the people you know that goes to the therapist, your community, the people you care about, people in your community, and you're about to collaborate with the teamwork, the three, the three of Pentacles here. And because you have stress, anxiety, worry, fear, because you know this so-called mandatory reporter is not really a mandatory reporter. Um, and you're about to deliver the information to the people you care about, which is your community. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, whoever you are and how this resonates and applies, okay? It's clear as day for the messages and the cards in here. It's clear as day. This therapist is very, very, very money hungry. Very. This therapist is very, very, very money hungry. Very is what I heard. So this therapist is very money hungry. But I think you know this therapist is very money hungry. And you're about to make changes in your own life. And help your community by giving them information. Um, so one, you can save money and maybe go to a therapist, um, maybe your insurance covers, um, maybe your insurance will cover it if you have insurance for um, um, another therapist or another group or what have you, what have you. And maybe you'll end up saving money. Maybe, um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe you'll end up saving money. And um, yeah, that's exactly what I think. But you plug it in, how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.